St. Giles, a non-profit organization for the disabled in Durban. Founded on the 29th of May 1952 by Kerry Malt, a disabled former journalist, we started in a humble way, with visits to the sick in hospitals and private homes. Soon, the need for a clinic was realized, and St. Giles was allowed to use the Red Cross garage once a week with about 100 treatments carried out each month. In 1956, St. Giles moved into hired premises in Smith Street, where the first real period of expansion began, and the number of treatments increased to 400 per month. 1962 saw St. Giles move into our present home on the corner of Bell and Prince Streets, Durban. These premises were built on a site leased at 10 cents a year from the then Durban City Council. St. Giles has developed a policy to make clear the principles that all the staff subscribe to whilst doing St. Giles' business. We have summarized this organizational code of conduct policy into a code of ethics, which we are proud to display to all visitors who come to our business premises in Prince Street. Sports Slade Memorial Gym the St. Giles Remedial Gymnasium was managed by the charismatic and popular Sports Slade for many years before he passed away in February 1998. His favourite motto was, Movement is Life. The gym deals with a wide range of patients and offers remedial therapy for a variety of disabilities which includes spinal injury, paraplegia, amputations and stroke victims which make up the majority of the cases as well as disabilities resulting from conditions such as Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis and poliomyelitis. Basic cardiac rehabilitation, as well as continued rehabilitation of hip and knee replacements after surgery, also fall within the treatment parameters of the gym. Conditions such as osteoporosis and chronic arthritis may cause various disabilities which are also treated where appropriate. The gym is manned by three qualified staff members and an assistant, each new patient is assessed individually and a unique exercise program, best suited to facilitate the rehabilitation process, is then developed. The gym is the only gym in KwaZulu-Natal that is 100% wheelchair friendly with state-of-the-art wheelchair equipment. The Motomed leg and arm trainers are computer controlled. It is possible to select an active program which is designed for patients with some leg or arm activity. It is also possible to select the passive program which is used for patients without limb activity. The machine then does all the work. It is also equipped with a sensor to detect leg spasms. Such detection will result in the machine suspending activity until the leg spasm is passed. By inducing a cycling action, the leg trainer facilitates movement of the hip and knee joints which are much needed in the case of paraplegic and stroke patients. Circulation to the lower extremities is also improved as well as helping to provide stimulation to weakened and stiff muscles, which counteracts spasms and cramping. By using the wide range of exercise equipment in the gym, such as the ceiling-mounted arm pulleys, lat pull-downs, chest press, shoulder press, cycles, preacher curls, parallel bars, training stairs, and so much more, patients have reported excellent improvement in their body's range of movement and strength. The TLC, Tender Loving Care, corner is manned by dedicated volunteers who operate a handheld massage machine and provide some therapeutic touch to sore muscles. The patient's exercise session is ended with the trained staff stretching and relieving any cramps or spasms which might be present. Good results have been noted by patients who have made regular use of this service and it is an essential part to the overall remedial therapy provided by the gym. Another specialized piece of equipment in the gym is the electric tilt table. The tilt table allows patients to weight bear through their legs, something able-bodied people are able to do just by standing. Weight bearing helps patients with spinal cord injuries to prevent the loss of bone density in their legs and decrease the onset of osteoporosis. The tilt table is a vital piece of equipment for paraplegics or quadriplegics who suffer from spinal cord injuries because it provides numerous benefits, including the reduced pressure placed on their internal organs after sitting for long periods, along with improved circulation to the lower extremities. The Remedial Gym is one of the larger users of donor funds received by our organization. The disabled users of our Remedial Gym are, therefore, indebted to the generosity of our donors, which allows them to continue to receive their much-needed rehabilitative therapy.
The Work Center. Your simple action has a big reaction and thanks to the generosity of our donors, the Work Center provides employment for the disabled. The number employed has grown from 20 in 1998 to between 70 and 80 in 2015. The growth in employee numbers has been made possible by increasing the size of the Work Center, again thanks to donations received from the public and by sourcing more work. Our Work Center employees are permanent rather than casual or contract workers. As a result, we are well aware of their capabilities and they produce work of a very high quality. Work undertaken mostly consists of sorting, packing and assembling. St. Giles is Level 4 B BBEE compliant. Our Work Center employees are capable of handling a broad range of work which demands a variety of skills. The most complex work is probably the packing of herbs and whole spice for Unilever under the Robertson's brand, which we have been doing for about 40 years. We work to very strict quality and hygiene requirements and our facilities are regularly audited by independent audit houses, as well as our customers. Our employees are capable of packing approximately 50,000 boxes of herbs and whole spice a week. The volume is reliant on the mix of product being packed. Some of the staff's favourite herbs to pack are parsley, mixed herbs, bay leaves and turmeric. The inkjet and shrink wrap machines are state-of-the-art and output is of a high quality. The staff work quickly and effectively, making the most of their working time within the production line. The conveyor belt system can make packing and sorting products relatively simple and professional. Here the packing of a Joko Loose Leaf Tea Caddy promotion was done in excellent time. St. Giles employees can also undertake relatively simple tasks such as tying strings to cardboard labels, packing tennis racket strings, or the making of guy ropes for Jurgens, packing information leaflets for ProPrint, and packing oil test kits for WearCheck. In 2014, St. Giles was assessed and found to comply with the requirements of the FSSC certification scheme for food safety systems, including ISO 22000-2005, ISO TS 22002-1-2010 and additional FSSC 22000 requirements. This certification is applicable for receiving of raw materials, storage, packing of spices, storage and distribution. St. Giles also strives to reduce its environmental impact wherever practical. Carbon reducing measures form an integral part of its overall strategy, helping to improve both operational performance and a reduction in potentially harmful emissions to land, water and air. Our goal is to inspire, through our successes, a fundamental shift towards environmental responsibility. St. Giles' current medium-term plan is to work towards a realistic yet challenging target to reduce its carbon footprint to 5% within 4 to 5 years. Reception and Shop The charity shop sells second-hand donated goods at reasonable prices. Income derived from the shop contributes towards the running costs of St. Giles. Typical goods donated include clothes and shoes, books, cards and DVDs, puzzles and pictures, kitchen utensils and crockery, furniture, jewellery, ornaments and vases, electrical appliances and computers and printers still in good working order. Come in today to find that special treasure or bargain you have been searching for. The friendly staff and volunteers are always on hand to assist shoppers. St. Giles, a dynamic and interesting non-profit organization for the disabled, here for you.